The English Podcast by Explicit. Welcome to the podcast. I'm Lawrence. Blackouts, power cuts, energy restrictions. From September to November here in France, we were told they were going to happen. We should be prepared. In my imagination, I was going to come home in the dark to find the house without lights, without heating, the food melting in the freezer, no telephone, no C news, no Netflix. But finally, nothing really happened. Certainly here in Provence, we didn't experience any power interruption. But for Suzanne, our colleague in Johannesburg in South Africa, it was and is an altogether different story, as you're going to hear. So here is our question for today. In 2022, Suzanne tells us how many days did Johannesburg experience power interruptions? Was it A, 26 days, B, 106 days, or C, 206 days? Well, if you listen out, you'll hear the answer. So, let's now go over to Suzanne for a complete guide for surviving power outages. And if you're like me, you'll want to listen carefully it may prove instructive for the future. It's dark and cold. You've been stuck in traffic because the traffic lights aren't working and drivers have forgotten the basic rules of a four-way stop. The children are complaining and whining because they're tired and hungry. You get home and give a sigh of relief. Phew, you made it. But what is this? The lights in the house won't switch on. The oven doesn't work. Even your beloved router and Wi-Fi show no signs of life. In desperation, you switch over to your mobile phone's data. Nothing. No signal. It's the end of civilization as you know it. You're cold, tired, hungry, and even worse. You'll have to spend the evening talking to your family. You were warned this would happen. But now that it actually has, you're in a panic. Yes, that, that's it. That, that's exactly what I felt was going to happen. A, a, and you mean it actually happened? In South Africa, we're well versed in this scenario. In 2022, we had 206 days of power interruptions. Wait a minute. How many? Say that again. In 2022, we had 206 days of power interruptions. Yes, that's what I thought you said. That, that, that's over six months. Yes. It's irritating and it drives us mad. But don't panic. Here's a quick guide on how to manage those power outages. Well, that's a relief. A guide? Great. Invest in some solar-powered emergency lights. As they are solar rechargeable, you'll have free light. Remember, you're trying to save electricity. So this is an excellent opportunity to do so. Solar-powered lighting. Yes, that's a good start. How do you cope? For some, it's wine. Lots and lots of wine. And in this case, I mean the drink, not complaining. Whining doesn't help, but wine definitely improves some situations. Now you're talking, particularly in France. That'll go down very well. Too cold? Add a layer of clothes. Too hot? Take off some clothes. It's okay. Your family won't judge you. Although candles do add a sense of romance, probably don't use them when you have pets or young children around. If you're lucky enough to have a garden, invite your friends over and have a barbecue. No electricity required and it's a perfect time to catch up. If it's cold outside, you can all gather around the barbecue to keep warm and eat a hot meal. Perfect! Ah, the barbecue. Of course, I knew there was going to be a barbecue somewhere. Your wine or beer isn't cold enough? Tie a piece of string around bottles and put them in a sink of cold water. Or in the swimming pool. The water is guaranteed to be colder than the air. Speak to your family. You may not have been able to find out how they are recently. Plan your upcoming holidays. Ask your teenagers to tell you about their day at school. They'll really love that. In turn, you can tell them about your workday. 
It's a perfect opportunity to catch up, as no one has the excuse to look at their phones or tablets. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that. The advantage is that you're in the dark, so you don't have to make eye contact. If you know when your power is going off, as we do in South Africa, it's amazing how much you can get done in those 10 minutes before the lights go out. Consider it a mini sporting session as you whiz around your home before the deadline. You can get many steps in without even thinking. Now I can really relate to that. Sit back and appreciate the quietness. I bet you never realised just how noisy your fridge or air conditioner is. Look at the stars. See if you remember the constellations that you learned about all those years ago. Compare the moon to how you usually see it. Can you see how much clearer it is? The night skies in Provence are wonderful. During summer, invest in mosquito repellent and dab some around your ears, a bit like some cologne or perfume, and fling your windows open. Or put in some earplugs. The advantage of earplugs is that they will also prevent you from being woken up by a snoring partner. <laughs> My electricity has just gone off. Can I offer you a beer or some wine? A beer would be wonderful. Thank you so much, Suzanne, for this survival guide. So let's go back to our question, which was about the number of days in 2022 that Johannesburg experienced power interruptions. Was it A, 26, B, 106, or C, 206? Well, for those who were listening carefully, it was answer C, with a truly astonishing figure of 206 days, or almost seven months of the year, with power interruptions. So, as we look forward here in France to what we all hope will be a wet and rainy spring, given the imminent water restrictions, let's spare a thought for Suzanne and our other colleagues in the Southern Hemisphere, who have just entered the autumn season, which promises restrictions of a very different kind. So, that's all for today. But please tune in again in two weeks' time for a special anniversary podcast to celebrate William Shakespeare, our most famous English playwright, in the company of April and Edward. Thanks for listening, and bye for now.